All right. Hey, everybody. So, I've been uh, posting a lot of videos the last few days about things, and I, I actually made a whole bunch of them private. Because, um, you know, those stories are what they are. I'm not sure if they're true or not. Things have been coming to me, and I'm starting to understand why. It started about a year ago when I started. I got back into doing um, cocaine. My mistake. And that started the process of me and my girlfriend uh, breaking up. That was difficult. I hadn't done it in, in, in over 78 years, nine years, before Occupy. And I think the reason I didn't start to do it again after Occupy, and after I was recovering from getting Bray, um, is because I met Barbara. And, you know, it's trying to create a nice, stable life, and doing the sound healing work, and trying to do my, what I needed to do. But like anything else, you're always vulnerable. I did, I, was, I did grow up with a family that I didn't really understand and I don't really feel close to. I'm not sure if anything I said was, was true or not. I, I'll tell you why later, why I, why I said those things, why I think I said a lot of those things. And, um, and those videos I created, um, how they came about. I know this is going to be an admission of guilt for, for, for me for doing these things. But I got to get it off my chest and I'm planning to go into a, a drug rehab tomorrow and stay as long as I have to to get myself back. And, you know, I'm already hearing voices, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it because uh, you know, uh, blah, 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 you know, so, but it is what it is. So, you know, somebody gave me a little bit. This is exactly the same thing that happened to me in Florida 15 years ago. I hadn't done it when I was with my ex-wife. I hadn't done it for years. And then, uh, you know, I, I had a family I wasn't close to, so I, I ended up running into things. And, and I, those, that was one of the things I ran to growing up in New York. And then I went through that for a while, and then I, I stopped. And something happened to me, and I completely stopped. And I, that's when I met my ex-wife, and and then and then after the divorce, somebody offered me to me. Yeah, okay, why? Well, yeah, well, blow. And then that became a snowball effect. All the way, a year and a half of me losing everything else, you know, my house, and um, my job. And, and then ending back in uh, New Jersey. But so fast forward to right now. And again, I'm hearing things that I shouldn't be doing this. Don't do it, don't do it. You're jeopardizing yourself. I'm not sure where that's coming from, but my fears or Something coming in my head that shouldn't be in my head. That's why it was the voices thing. The voices thing that I, that I posted was, was true. Those things are coming in, and I do have a spirit guide that connects you, but he's, 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 he's taking a step back and saying, you have to do what you have to do. So I um, started about a year ago, same thing. Just before the pandemic, yeah, maybe a year and a half ago, doing it here and there. Somebody offered that. Sneaking it behind my ex girlfriend because she didn't know. And then I added 
something that I thought was OSD to the picture. But I don't think it was. I'm pretty sure it's 2CB, which is, I've done OSD in the past, but 2CB is, is um, so it seems like, oh, hey, yeah, but, but 2CB is very, very dangerous. It's, good. It's, it's similar to MDMA. And it has the same brain damaging effects. Yeah. That was the pinnacle. I mean, I, and then I started microdosing on it. it was, you know, hey, hey. But microdosing, I guess, is not that bad. When you start taking larger doses, that's when it affects you. And that's what happened that night, that uh, day that uh, my ex girlfriend called the police on me. I uh, called the, the, the riot squad on me. Circled me, Neptune, and they brought me to, to New Jersey, New Jersey show. Man, I had been up for two days. The fact, the problem is that the person who sold me that stuff is the same person that came to my, my girlfriend's house and told them, you know, convinced her, and, and then you know, told them that I was, oh, I was, he was on this and this, he's on, you know, and and wow. Well, Another problem throughout this whole thing is that I ended up. Um, you know, smoking it instead of you know, you know, making making it myself and smoking. It. But that was another big mistake. Those three those three things come three things combined are bad enough. But the but you had you had like the the, uh, the the smoking of it. And then I got kicked out of the house. And then I ended up at the at the center. And the center I was you know the only place I could do stuff. You know, really. Which, but then again, I added more, um, more, and, and, it, and it was okay at first, and, and but then I don't know what I, don't, I ended up having to buy it in the street instead of like buying it from a person, you know, making it myself. Smoking was easier; it's easier on the nose and easier I can stay up for longer. But wow, this create problems, especially in where we are. I don't suggest anybody do what I did, please. Please don't, this is, this is, this is, because you, you get this feeling for a while and it's great and it's wonderful, but then you start, I mean, for me personally, I started attacking myself and I, and I heard all these voices attacking me, which I'm not, still not sure what they are out there. There, some kind of device out there, some doing it, or if it's just my fears coming in. I just what I just heard is don't do it. They're gonna arrest me if I do it. At this point in my life, I I don't I don't know. Places that I've been to in the last last week or so are pretty pretty sad and pretty like should not have gone there. Then I still do the thing, so I can't I can't say that you know. Um, I can't say that I can just stop my own anymore. I was like, I, I, thought, I, I thought I could at one point, but because everything else is happening around me, that's kind of like, you know, I'm losing, lost a girlfriend, lost, lost the whole summer to this, lost the, the, my business, lost, you know, my house. I mean, it's all these things just kind of like coming down on my heart. So I have to go into a rehab and I have to clean up. If not, I'm going to die. I mean, that's that's kind of where, I, where I'm feeling. I mean, the, 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 the the serotonin was wrong. I mean, I mean, yes, the issue was I don't have a house to do it in, so I got to sneak it here and there, and I got to do it here and there, and it's just becomes, and then I feel bad for the people around and, and whatever, you know. But the serotonin um, drop when you do these things is just intense because at the end you're just, damn. And I don't drink, so I don't drink and fall asleep. This is hard for me, and I hope I hope this doesn't get, this doesn't get me arrested. I don't, I don't know. I, mean, I hope this doesn't get me in trouble. I don't want to be, you know, be in trouble. I don't want to. I didn't want. I, you know. But the thing of it is, you you, you start doing, it and you, you just you just justify doing it. You, know? you justify doing the thing that you know it might be hurting other people around you. Definitely alienating you from friends, and and you know all, all you have left is you know people that are selling you shit. You know, and then you don't even trust them because you don't know what they're giving you. You know, I don't know what was in that thing they, uh, that person gave me. I didn't know what, what was in the stuff that I was smoking. I didn't know what was in all these things. 
that I was putting in my body. And before I wasn't, you know, I was smoking weed and, you know, maybe shrooms here and there, but, but, but these things became, and, and, you know, I do like LSD, but it wasn't around. I mean, I, I don't, you know, I read somewhere that, that the, there's nothing, there's, you can't find it anymore. What you find is 2CB, which is legal. I think it's pretty much legal here, and it's, and it's legal in Britain, but it's used in the rave scenes, but this has the same principles as MDMA. It has that thing where, where you, you, it, it, doing it, microdosing it, not knowing that it's, 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 it's 2CB, you literally get brain damage. And I believe that's what the person who sold it to me uh, knew and didn't tell me. Because the feeling that I get when I do that, on top of the other thing that I do, is what produces the videos that I produced the last few days. They're very manic and very, and they're stories. I mean, they're, they're stories that come into my head and then I just take them and run with them. You know? It's almost like you're tapping into different probabilities and you bring them in and, oh, wow, it's great. But if you, you can't decipher between them, then that becomes your reality. And that's where I was stuck in, the different ones. You know? And, and they're all based on voices that I hear and, and, and communicate with. I'm literally communicating with these voices. Right? It's, it's not me. I don't know. I know it's not me. It doesn't sound like me. And they become what, 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 I, what I experience. I'm not sure what else I have to say really about this except the fact that you play with fire, you're gonna get burned. I mean, I could probably do it on my own if I had the support around me and the people around me, but right now I have alienated so many people that the only thing I, ha I can do is go to a hotel, which is what I'm staying in, um, and come to the center, you know? Uh, and that's what I find myself going back when I go to the hotel and it's like, it's, it's creepy, I don't feel good, you know, people might know what I'm doing and I do a smoke a little and all of a sudden it's like, ah. Paranoid, and then I run back over here I'm comfortable a little bit, and then this, it starts here too. I, I smell the vents, and I, and I, all of a sudden I'm feeling all this stuff around me that is that is that I used to love, attack me, feeling that people are trying to kill me for not doing what I should be doing. I should, you know, I mean, I've experienced a lot of different places in in this area right now because of what I did. Yeah, a lot of weird situations, but it was all very strange. I tapped into my, my creative and artistic uh, side again, and it was great, and I made all these paintings which are amazing. Now, can I do them without? Yeah, a little bit of weed, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm good, but I don't have the, 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 the pull to do it. When I'm doing other things, it gives me the pull to do it, and that's really the difference, you know. Um, when I get out of rehab and stop all everything that I'm doing, will I be able to paint again? I hope so. I'm going to try my best. But no matter what, it's become a thing that really uh, it's hurt a lot of people around me. Um, I create these stories. I, some of them might be true. I don't know, but really at this point, it doesn't really matter. People are trying to hurt me, get out of me, get me out of here. So, yeah. yeah, maybe I deserve it. The lack of understanding that I get from people, the people that's close that I try to talk to about me, is you know they're just it is it's hard to deal with. But you know, this is where the person. It's considered the attic goes to, you know, goes to that place where. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Um, I again apologize to all the people that I accuse and blame. I mean, the things that happened to me as as a, as a child, and me not knowing a lot of those things about me myself, and me asking my family, those are all true. I don't. I still don't hundred percent believe that I'm. I'm related to them, but I might be, maybe some, something that, but there's something that they're not telling me, and I'm, I'm sure that they will never tell me, I, you know, they'll never, they'll never really admit, admit it, because it's, you know, they, well, for every reason. You know. The things that I've, that I've, that I've come up with, that, are, you know, why maybe they're doing this, those things are coming from out there and voices and stuff.
I'm sure what that is either. Whatever it is, uh, I'm gonna do my best to get myself back to being normal, pretty much normal, and not, not spending a little bit of little bit of money I had left in savings, and slowly dwindling down. Um, I'm homeless. I'm not. I'm gonna be businessless <laughs> very soon. Um, I still got a car. Lots of credit card bills with uh, hotel bills on them. So, yeah, I messed up. I took it to a certain level. I took it to a certain point, and then and then I got pulled in, and I'm not sure if I can get myself out yet. But I'm gonna try. No. Thank you. Namaste.